Good morning and welcome to Creative Core Detailing. As you can see behind me, we are working on this beautiful nitrous blue uh, Focus Aureus this week. Yesterday, today is the second day. Yesterday I got a late start on this car. I had some other stuff to get done. But what I did yesterday was I washed the car, washed the wheels. Um, I did decontamination on it, the three-stage decontamination. So the first step this morning would be to examine the paint with you guys and thereafter I'm going to start correcting the paint. If this goes according to plan, the paint should be soft. Um, I'm judging from Fiesta's. I haven't done a focus in a long time. But judging from Fiesta's paint, the paint should be soft. Don't quote me on that just yet. Um, I'm obviously going to do the test spots, but if the paint is soft on this one, we will be doing, I'm guessing, a single step because the, from what I've seen, the defects ain't bad. Um, but if the paint is hard, we will be doing a two-step. So let's jump right in and check out the paint condition and then we take it from there. I'm starting on the wing here now. I completed the roof with this, uh, I don't know what you want to call this, the pillar or the post or whatever. Uh, the nose is completed. Uh, this is done. So I'm starting here now and then I'm going to work my way down back to the front and then we'll get to the rear. But one thing I noticed now is that this is a bit hacked and I want to tell you the funny story about this. You can see the it's a bit act. Now this car, I didn't pick up any buffer trails, but you can clearly see it on the wing. So funny, a funny story that I saw while 
watching other detailers on YouTube do these just to get a feel for the paint because I've never worked on nitrous blue was that 99.9% .9 of the time the rear wings comes out from the factory and I found that funny and I thought I should actually check on this one if it comes out as well and there it is, it is act. So I don't know what's the story behind that, why it comes act from the factory, maybe wherever these cars are built or assembled or whatever, they polish the plastic because this is plastic instead of metal. So maybe where they polish it there, they are using far too aggressive combo. Um, nothing major, we'll definitely be able to sort it. I just found it funny to see that everyone doing a nitrous blue focus RS found that that bit was hacked. So this is a quick side by side on the B pillars. Uh, this one is just a bit dusty. I finished this off last night. Today is day three. And I posted a picture on Facebook and there was quite a number of inquiries on this. So the way I do it is a medium pad with a medium compound or polish. You don't want to go too aggressive on them. I'd rather cut cut it down twice on something that's not as aggressive then cut it with a very aggressive combo and then you end up chasing your own tail for hours uh, so after the medium like I said I'll cut it twice if there's a lot of scratches after that you go with a fine polishing pad which will be this white one here on the hybrid this is what I finished off with last night a fine pad with this is some Menzena SA4500 so we with that you're still going to do two or three passes to get the gloss levels through the roof uh, that's the only way you can't just eat them with a the polisher quickly and walk away i think this took me about i think about 15 to 20 minutes to do this one pillar so it's a very 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 time consuming process be ready for that if you do not spend the sufficient time you won't get the results it's as simple as that these things are extremely finicky and they are 99 percent of the time the most damaged part on any vehicle the rear is not so much uh, just because the rear door doesn't get as much traffic as the fronts but they still do get wash mooring and all that so you need to spend the sufficient time i'm going to walk you guys through step by step now while i do it just to show you how it reacts to each stage that we do So the first cutting stage is done, you can see how easy it is compared to that side. But I'm still not happy with this, it's very difficult to tell but there's still some scratches on this edge here. You can see them there, that I think I can do better on, so that's why we do two. Um, I'm going to do another step, exactly the same process as this, medium cutting pad, medium compound. And then thereafter we'll start the refining process. You can see I ran a bit of the edge here. But when I refine this, I'm going to run over this one again. Because I will be wiping with a cloth and it may cause some mooring. So just to double or make double sure on this side, I am going to, to refine this one again with this side. Okay, so the second cutting phase is done. And next up we're going to start refining. You can see how easy it is now. A lot of people would not know how to correct this but like I said this just takes time so we are going to use like I mentioned before this fine fine finishing pad this thing is very soft this is actually for applying something like a wax um, but on these B pillars they do just fine so I'm going to do two steps then I'll check back with you guys if needed we'll go on to three 
but first I'm going to do two and then we'll see what the condition looks like after that. So I just did two passes on these pillars and they are still easy. You can see the amount of imperfections they left behind from the cutting stage. Now most people would call it quits here, I mean that looks pretty good but to the trained eye you can see that's extremely easy. So we are going to do a third step, let me see if I can zoom in, you can see the, the circles around the light from the cutting phase, even on this side now, it looks bad. So what I do is I turn the speed down to basically massage the panel and not hit it roughly. Um, so the speed is turned down and when I wipe, I hope you guys checked it out, when I wipe, I fold my towel extremely thick. You can see how thick it is, thick and plush. And then I wipe this off. Um, just so that you don't mar the surface. This is extremely finicky. Trust me guys, you guys who detail would know how finicky this is. So I'm going to edit once more on a very slow speed setting. I'm going to massage the panel and then I'll show you guys the, the after result. Five hours later. Okay, it's currently the end of day three. It's just after seven o'clock. 7.40 or 7.30. A uh, little over an 11 hour day for me. I am tired. I don't know. When I was younger, I used to be able to do like 16 to 18 hour days. Uh, this was an 11 hour day and I'm done. Uh, yeah, I'm tired. Anyways, so the progress with the core. So you can see this nitrous blue is looking just about as good as it ever will, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there is a couple of deeper reds here and there, um, which I got out as much as possible. But I am 99% confident that you won't be able to see it unless I pinpoint them out to you or you really take an hour to examine the paint then you'll be able to find them. Anyways, I'm happy with all the scores sitting at the moment. Tomorrow is Thursday. The owner of the car just dropped these off with me a couple of minutes ago, the touch-up paint for the car. It's uh, one is blue, one is pearl and one is clear. There is a couple of stone chips, not a lot stone chips, um, I would guess doddings that needs to be touched up tomorrow morning and then once that's done I'm going to pull the car outside inspect my work in the sunlight. Uh, I always like to double check everything in direct sunlight. This gives you a very 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 good idea 
of what the paint looks like but I just like to take the car outside and just be 100% sure that everything is as perfect as I want it to be before I lay down the first layer of ceramic so tomorrow I'm going to touch up the paint lay down the ceramic which will be doing two coats of Mohs and then that's going to be it then I need to do small stuff like clean these rubbers up they look terrible uh, clean them up the owner also asked me to clean the two front seats which is a mixture of Alcantara and leather so leather on the side bolsters and Alcantara in the center so I'm going to clean them that'll probably only be Friday when the car is sitting for 24 hours to cure the coating so I'll see you guys tomorrow we'll double check the work do the touch-ups and then start laying down the ceramic Done. the car looks absolutely amazing it's currently half past two Saturday afternoon the clients on his way to fetch the car so stay tuned for some after pictures I am going to show you guys some clips indoors and then clips outdoors once it's out in the Sun that's going to be it for this video guys thank you for watching if you made it all the way to the end please give this a massive thumbs up and drop a comment of your thoughts down below I would truly appreciate the feedback so that's going to be it I'll see you guys in the next one peace out and reflect your passion. Yeah.